हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑल इन वन एजुकेशन बाय दिव्या सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी साइंस आर्ट इंटीग्रेशन सो आवर टॉपिक इज कंपेयर एंड कंट्रास्ट बिटवीन द एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस टाइप ऑफ सॉइल एंड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ कर्नाटका विद उत्तराखंड सो लेट अस प्रोसीड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विद एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस सो लेट अस सी इट so agriculture in uttarakhand agriculture is a significant contributor to uttarakhand's gross state domestic product it is a chief source of livelihood for over 70% of its population commercial agriculture is practiced in the plains and the hill farmers are predominantly engaged in the subsistence farming major crops and a number of fruits and vegetables are grown in the state uttarakhand has four agroclimatic zones covering six altitudinal farming approaches which means there is a potential to grow a wide variety of crops within the state so let us see the major crops cultivated in uttarakhand so they are rice wheat maize soya bean and some dry fruits which are cultivated in uttarakhand are raisins walnuts almonds now let us see the major vegetables cultivated in uttarakhand potatoes green peas cauliflower capsicum major fruits cultivated in uttarakhand are strawberries apples apricot and plums now let us see agriculture in karnataka so karnataka is the one of the leading states in the country in plantation and garden crops it is the largest producer of coffee in the country tea areca coconut cashew nut cardamom rubber orange and grapes are important plantations and garden crops karnataka agriculture is one of the essential attributes of karnataka economy the topography of karnataka such as the city's relief soil and climate immensely supports the agriculture activities in karnataka state now let us see the major crops cultivated in karnataka so that are ragi rice millets and pulses so dry fruits which are cultivated in karnataka is cashew nuts and one fact is there that Dakshina Kannada district has the highest area of cashew in Karnataka followed by Udupi, Belgaum, Chikkabalapur, Uttara Kannada, Kodagu and Kola. The average productivity of Udupi is 2080 kg and Uttara Kannada has 2050 kg is almost 3 times the nation productivity. so it's a very much uh, good thing about karnataka in the udupi and the uttara kannada region now let us see what are the major vegetables cultivated in karnataka so that are flat beans cucumber rich corn and cabbage then we have major fruits cultivated in karnataka that are mango custard apple guava and jackfruit now let us see the soil type of soil in uttarakhand so uttarakhand or uttaranchal is a state in northwestern part of india uttarakhand has various types of soil all of which are susceptible to soil erosion in north the soil ranges from gravel debris from the glaciers to the stiff clay brown forest soil often shallow gravelly and rich in organic content is found further to south now let us see some examples of this soil found in uttarakhand so these are some pictures which are coming below so these kinds of soil are found in uttarakhand now let us see about them so there are mainly five types of soil found in uttarakhand first is tertiary soil this soil is mainly found in shivalik and dun valley this soil is suitable for the production of tea 
coat soil the soil contains shell cased and quartz this is light and unproductive soil found in nainital district then we have volcanic soil the soil is found in mountain slopes of uttarakhand then fourth is alluvial soil which is the soil is found in the lower slopes of shivalik range and dune valley containing lime iron and biological remains and is very suitable for agriculture so mainly alluvial soil is very suitable for agriculture in uttarakhand then grey soil this soil is found in nainital masuri and chakra district now let us go to the next slide now let us see the type of soil in karnataka so karnataka is a state in southwestern region of india it is the largest state in south india and seventh largest in india so there are many soils which are found in many parts of karnataka some of the pictures are coming before you so this is a red soil looking something like a soil in mars but it's not mars looking at red soil now this is our black soil then this is lateritic soil then this is black cotton soil and many other soils are found in karnataka now let us read about them type of soil in karnataka red soil this type of soil is obtained from the weathering of granite and gneiss it contains iron oxides and hence it is red in color so because of this mixture of granite and gneiss and iron oxide it becomes red in color it is rich in iron lime and salt but contains small amount of humus it is light has thin layers and it is not very fertile its capacity for moisture retention is less it is widely distributed in karnataka and found more in south karnataka ragi jowa bajra millets pulses tobacco and groundnut which are rain fed crops can be grown in this soil red soil is found mainly in bangalore ramnagar and many other parts of karnataka now let us see about black cotton soil this kind of soil is formed by weathering of basalt so rocks so this is also uh, done by weathering process but in this instead of doing of the granite and gneiss it is about the weathering of the basalt rocks and it is rich in aluminium magnesium and oxide of iron or iron oxide so because of all this mixture becomes black in color and it is also known as black cotton soil so this soil has the ability to retain moisture for many days since it is rich in soil nutrition a variety of crops can be grow in this soil for an example cotton jowa maize sunflower chili paddy pulses and onion or and many other plants can be grown in black cotton soil so now fourth third is lateritic soil this kind of soil is found in areas which receive heavy rainfall and high temperature water soluble lime and silicates dissolve in rain water settle down in the lower layers iron and aluminium which are non soluble remain in top layers the soil becomes soft during rainy season and dries up during summer leading to the formation of laterite rock so this lateritic soil is been formed with the laterite rock this rock is used for construction purposes and in this soil cashew coffee tea cardamom pepper rubber coconut and other commercial crops can be grown and it is also found in uttara kannada udupi dakshina kannada kodagu etc then we have coastal alluvial soil this type of soil is found along the coast due to the deposition of alluvium and sediments carried by the rivers and sea waves as such the coastal districts of karnataka like udupi dakshina kannada and uttara kannada had this type of soil this soil consists of sand and clay 
It is very rich in organic nutrition. Paddy, cashew, coconut, banana, etc. can be grown in the coastal alluvial soil. Now let us read about the climate of Uttarakhand. So there are four mainly uh, climate of Uttarakhand that are summer, autumn, winter and short burst of spring. It means that a very less only one month or like that it is there for a spring season. So these are the four seasons or a climate of the Uttarakhand that are summer, autumn, winter and a short burst of a spring. Now let us see the climatic conditions of Uttarakhand. The climate of Uttarakhand is temperate, marked by the seasonal variations in temperature, but also affected by tropical monsoons. January is the coldest month with the daily high temperatures averaging below freezing in the north and near 70 degree Fahrenheit or 21 degree Celsius in the southeast. Since more than 80% of the state has mountainous terrain, Uttarakhand is visited by travelers looking to beat the heat of lower plains or to enjoy snowfall in Uttarakhand. The state witnesses a three-season climate pattern that are summer, autumn and winter with a short burst of a spring in that inner part only. The climate of Uttarakhand is temperate and is about 15 degree to 20 degree Celsius and has a moderate amount of rainfall of 25 to 75 centimeters. The crop can grown here are rice, wheat, sugar cane, soya bean, pulses, oil seeds, etc. The climate in northern part of Uttarakhand is typically Himalayan and Uttarakhand is characterized by two types of climate sharply differentiated in the plains and mountainous regions. So the Uttarakhand is uh, divided into two parts in the west is plain and mountainous regions. Now let us see the climate of Karnataka. So climate have three uh, main climate of Karnataka. So that are tropical monsoon climate, second hot and moist summers, third cool and dry summers and winters okay so these are the three main climate of Karnataka so that are tropical monsoon climate hot and moist summers cool and dry winters now let us see climatic condition of Karnataka Karnataka has a tropical monsoon climate the main characteristics of these climate and are hot and moist summers and cool and dry winters but there is a diversity in climate of the state. The state of Karnataka is a part of two well-defined regions of India, namely the Deccan Plateau and the coastal plain and islands. It can be further divided into four physiography regions, the Northern Karnataka Plateau, Central Karnataka Plateau, Southern Karnataka Plateau and Coastal Karnataka Plateau, means region. And due to this, the climate varies from time to time. The area of Karnataka lies in the arid zone. So the North Karnataka receives the least amount of rainfall in the state and the average annual rain in just 731 mm. The South Karnataka spreads over the districts of rural Bangalore and urban Bangalore. The coastal Karnataka receives heavy rainfall. The Average annual rainfall is about 3456 mm. The amount of rainfall is the coastal Karnataka is much more than the other parts of the state. Due to its varying geographic and physiographic conditions, Karnataka experiences climatic variations that are the range from the semi-arid in the plateau region, subhumid to humid tropical monsoons in the coastal plains. So these were the climatic conditions and the climate of the Karnataka at Uttarakhand. Now let us see the crops in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is the northern state in India. It has four agroclimatic zones covering six altitudinal farming approaches, which means there is a potential to grow a wide variety of crops within the state. So some of these examples before you has been shown. Now let us see the types of crops in Uttarakhand. First, rice. 
Rice is a seed of a grass species or the galberina. Second wheat. Wheat is a grass widely cultivated for its seed and it has a scientific name called trichotum. Third, sugarcane. Sugarcane refer to several species and hybrids of tall perennial grass. It is most grown in northern area like Uttarakhand, Kashmir, etc. Fourth, soya bean. Soya bean or also known as glycine max also called soja bean annual legume of a pea family now let us see crops in karnataka karnataka is the southern place in india it is the largest producer of coffee horticulture crops with an annual production of above 13 million tons contribute to over 40 percent of income from agriculture in Karnataka, 40% of income comes from the agriculture itself. Now let us see types of crops grown in Karnataka. First is coffee. Coffee is a genius of a flowering plant in the family Rubicias. Then ragi. Ragi is cultivated on a variety of soils ranging from rich loam to poor shallow upland soils. Third maize. Z is a genius of a flowering plant in the grass family. The best known as Z. Fourth, grape. The grapes are the most important crop in the southern part of India. Grape cultivation or grape cultivation is a believed to have originated near Caspian Sea. So it is been believed that grape has cultivated first near the Caspian Sea. So I hope you will like our PPT. So please subscribe me, like me. And to get more information, press the bell icon. And to share more information, share it to your friends. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you and bye-bye.